Hey, it's me, Kat, and uh, hopefully you can hear me okay. Um, I am wearing, obviously, a longer style, and I think you'll recognize this Rene of Paris. If you're interested in finding out more about it, then keep watching. you who have been with me for a while, you know that I used to wear one of these uh, ear mic type things, earphone mics, earbud mics. Uh, then I switched to a lapel mic, which I then promptly lost. So I have to purchase another one. I've just been lazy. So for now, because I don't have a lapel mic, I'm using this. I did recently purchase a digital camcorder with an external mic so that I can make better quality videos. But I haven't figured out how to use it yet. So for now, we're sticking with the old method. Anyhow, I am wearing, I know what I'm wearing, but I'm gonna show you the tag anyway. This is, you probably can't see it, but this is Dakota in Melted Marshmallow. So as you'll notice, I am wearing the same peach t-shirt and the same makeup that I wore in the Ray video, showing you Ray in rose gold and Ray in Melted Marshmallow. And uh, this is another wig that is on loan from Joe, aka Instagram, it's my hair, I bought it. So she purchased this and was kind enough to let me borrow it to share with you because I hadn't gotten any of the new Renee of Paris styles yet. Um, I just hadn't, don't know why, they just didn't call to me and I think it was more of a, uh, spoiled for choice really, too much to choose from and I couldn't make a decision. However, having now put Dakota and Ray on, I'm like, oh my God, this hair, hair. I don't want to manipulate too much because it's hers, but oh my goodness, I could seriously run my fingers through this forever. It is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Um, anyhow, still in the zigzag part, I don't want to manipulate too much because it is hers and she is kind enough to let me borrow it to share with you today. But in any case, so we are back to melt and marshmallow. So we have these platinum tips and, uh, Again, I'm not good with color description. If you want a good color description, uh, you might want to see gals like Taz from Taz's Wig Closet. You might see Sister Wigs, um, some of the other gals that give you a more in-depth technical analysis. I am not an in-depth technical gal. I just like to show you what it looks like in direct sunlight and tell you what I think and tell you what some of the features are. And of course, I tend to pop details in the description or in the video. So in any case, this is Dakota. This is a gorgeous long rooted color. So you have what's probably a number six root-ish somewhere in there. Um, this blonde, it's much cooler than a 27. It's not like a strawberry blonde. It's a nice kind of, I don't know. It's kind of, I'm not good at description, so why am I bothering? Anyways, long root, you get blonde, you get these tips. It kind of makes me think of the um, Vivica Fox uh, color that's a not rooted color, but it's a 27 blonde with a 613 tip. This is what it makes me think of as a 613 tip and a 27, uh, the length 27. Although this is not as warm as a 27, it's not strawberry blonde, and this is definitely like a nice, cool uh, platinum, very nice, cool platinum. Anyhow, this is gorgeous. I don't, I don't know that I fancy this color on myself. Um, although it's not looking bad, especially with a bit of fake tan on. Um, this is really pretty though. Um, if you like permatease, this style and Ray will probably not be for you if you really like permatease. Because this, the only protrusion, sounds weird, that I feel is this mono part. So again, we have a left to right mono part, which is perfect because that's how I part my hair. I love a left to right part. So you've got a left to right mono part. Um, it's nice and straight, 
not a lot to it. It's got some layers. It kind of makes me think about how I used to wear my hair back in like maybe the 90s when I was a teenager. This kind of reminds me about how I used to wear my hair. Just a lot of long layers. Nothing special. Uh, so again, when it comes right out of the box, it has a zigzag part. You've got the mono part here that's like... You know, probably about like that wide-ish. Um, you have a lace front. And again, uh, the lace fronts on the Renee of Paris lace fronts, uh, the lace front wigs, they do tend to be a bit dense. Um, I'm not going to say that they're not a good lace front. They're nice, uh, though I think, I mean, they're appropriate for the style because a lot of the lace front styles, like for instance, Bennett is a lace front, unfortunately discontinued, my, my husband's favorite wig. Um, but with that, it's such a very thick style, and the way that it's styled is it's styled to come over the eye a bit, and that's what this wants to do as well. Now, this isn't necessarily as dense a style as Bennett or some other styles, um, and certainly if you're used to the thick, permatease, dense styles of Renee of Paris, this is not that. Um, so you've got left to right mono, um, you've got the lace front that's quite thick. It's not a tapered lace front. Uh, it's not like a Jean Renault lace front. Um, and then you have just nice, flat, straight layers. Um, it's a beautiful style. I'm really on the fence. Like I look at it from this angle and I feel like this coloring doesn't do anything for me. But then when it looks more blended and ashy on this side and the way that it kind of curls under like that, I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm feeling that. I see you. I'm feeling that. I don't even know what that means. Anyhow, I'm digging it from, the, but maybe this is like my better side. I don't know. Anyhow, I think it's, it's a gorgeous style. Uh, open wefted the rest of the cap. It is not a hand tied cap, just the hand tied mono and lace front. Um, like I say, it's a light density. It's not super thick. Uh, the hair feels like absolute butter. Again, Linda Richmond moment. It's like butter. Oh my God. Let's walk amongst yourselves. Renee of Paris, fantastic wigs, great new range, discuss. That's how I'm feeling. Really feels gorgeous. Just when you take it out of the box and the way it just drapes and the softness and the silkiness. I mean, it's like a Calgon bath. It's like, Calgon, take me away. It's good times. So when you get really stoked about hair, you know, what can I say? Anyhow. That's about it. I can't tell you anything else. I can't tell you, uh, I could tell you probably below, uh, the length, what it weighs. I can tell you though, from my experience, from the gut, looks great in sunlight. Uh, I think the color looks nice and ashy. I think it's comfortable. I think the cap feels great. I think it fits nicely and I have a small head as you know. Um, just, I, I've got no complaints. I think this is really gorgeous. I personally would probably do this in rose gold because I'm really liking rose gold right now. Um, but Melton Marshmallow is super pretty. So there are definitely skin tones I think might suit this color a bit better than I am right now. Cause I, this, for some reason, this is not the way it's looking. It's not doing it for me, but this ashier, cooler side that almost looks a bit grayish. Um, just the way that it's looking, maybe it's the way the light's hitting it. I just like that. It looks nice. Anyhow, that's Ray, or I'm sorry, that's Dakota. That's Dakota in Melted Marshmallow. And thanks again to Joe for allowing me to borrow her Dakota and her Ray in Melted Marshmallow for Dakota and Rose Gold R for Ray. Thank you so much. If you get a chance, go find Joe on Instagram. Her Instagram is down below. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. If so, feel free to do that. Subscribe button below. I'd love to see you again. Thanks for hanging out. And of course, questions, comments, or just gushing praise for how amazing this is looking. Feel free to leave your comments. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much and have a great day. Be good to yourself and be good to others. Bye-bye. From me to you, I hope you have a great day. And if you found some value in this and enjoyed it, I'd love one of those. And please feel free to leave a comment. I like to hear your feedback. Thanks so much for hanging out today. I hope you have a great day or evening. Bye-bye.